Hi Sagittarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for April 9th through the 15th. Generally my readings are love readings. We will see whatever comes up. We're going to get one of these oracle cards and reveal it at the end. Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know this week? Sagittarius. Thinking about it. Thinking about something. Giving yourself plenty of time to think. Oh, maybe there's a choice. Maybe there's an unexpected choice in love. Okay. And, you know, you really have to do the right thing for yourself. So, yeah, it does It does involve thinking, right? You've got to make sure you make the right choice. Okay. It feels like, <coughs> you know, there could be some seduction. All right. This could be karmic as well. So, just keep that in mind while you're thinking that this could just be a karmic connection. I feel like you are going to be have to make some sort of decision in regards to love. You know, you may be reluctant to see the new approach or the person that you're dealing with is reluctant to see the new, new approach. Um, you know, some unable to move on from some sort of situation. You know, you may be dealing with somebody that, you know, you've known for a while you know, and it's hard to make this decision, so you're thinking about it. You may have feelings for this person. They may not be your usual type, but, you know, you guys understand each other in some way. Maybe you feel like you deserve more. Maybe this person isn't as stable and secure as you would like, okay? Or maybe you even have a family with them already, so that's why you're you're contemplating this decision so much, Okay. This, these cards, they can mean so much. It does feel like, you know, you might reject this offer from this person, even though you're very familiar with them. You may reject the offer because it's not the right thing and you have to do the right thing. I know that this is a complex decision that you're making. Maybe somebody wants a reconciliation from your past and you're, you're, you may reject it because, you know, maybe they don't want to see things from a new approach. Maybe they're still the same old person they always have been, you know what I mean? Um, maybe they're, you know, they don't give you what you need. You know, they don't give you what you need, maybe passionately. You know, I'm not sure. We're going to find out. Maybe they've hurt you before or you've hurt them. There's been some previous heartache with them, you know, and maybe you've been very successful on your own without them, you know. So I'm not sure that you will accept this offer. You may receive an offer from somebody that you know or that you are feel very familiar with. Um, it may be very unexpected, but it, it appears that you might reject it. You might, because you might not. You might not um, be in that spot, the same spot that they're at, okay? It feels like you're not wanting to look at things the same way, okay? Now we have these sixes. Six, six, six. Sixes are about choices. So I think that this is a week about making the best possible choice for yourself. It really evaluating the situation I feel like somebody has presented themselves to you from that you know okay maybe you know, obviously from your past that um, causes you to really rethink think your future whether you really want to be with them or not okay I feel like you've been very successful on your own you're really abundant you're really secure you're you're doing quite well and they probably see that so they're probably you know presenting you with this 
option and you're probably gonna say no I, I can't I mean that's what it looks like to me but you know you guys are the free will always plays a part um, I feel like you guys are going through some sort of spiritual awakening right now and you know so that as your vibration raises people are drawn to you all people from your past people new people as well so I feel like this is what has happened you guys are are probably vibrating very highly and this person has um, feels it okay and they're probably really hurt they're probably really hurt they will probably be hurt over your rejection okay there is an element of hurt here whether that's you or them somebody is hurting over this decision okay um, I feel like you guys have been on this journey of restoring balance and harmony to your life and you've been very successful Okay, and so this is when the universe will throw you that curveball, you know, to see how successful you really have become. All right, so I feel like you will probably, um, you know, this King of Swords in the reversed is somebody that you may feel like this person is too critical they've been too critical of you in the past you know they don't they judge you they misjudge you you know they you may feel like they're just a bit too much for you they, they may be a little too harsh for you and controlling okay so I feel like you will you may reject this offer from this person because of their demeanor okay I think that you are dealing with somebody who is more um, manipulative and controlling than you are okay and that and you know it so I think that this person that you're dealing with is reluctant hasn't really moved on they haven't changed okay they haven't changed and you probably see that clearly okay oh dear so dear Scorpio I feel like you are probably going to be presented with a difficult choice this week and you will probably reject the offer from someone who hasn't changed Yeah, I do think it's somebody from your past that is probably headed in your direction very quickly. But, you know, they're probably just charging right in. And they're probably saying all the right things. You know, they're probably trying to chime the pants right off of you. You know, they're saying all the right things. And, um, you know, but I feel like you can see right through it. I feel like you will not accept this new offer from this person because they aren't honest okay I think that they're playing games I think that they're a player of some sort and you know it you know it you know that they're not their their words are not true okay they're just words I feel like you know this this cycle has ended before and I think it's going to stay that way okay I feel like you've made a lot of momentum in your life you've done a lot of, you've went through a lot of spiritual transformation change okay and you know, you may ha there may be children involved in this situation, which makes the decision all the more difficult to make. And this person may try to emotionally blackmail you because of children, if you have children with this person. You know, I'm not sure. This is for all different kinds of people. But I feel like, you know, you can see right through that. I just feel like you guys have went through a very a huge transformation. You have grown. You're stable. You're secure. You know, you're abundant in your own right and you're vibrating so highly that now, you know, this person wants you back and they may use the children as a factor if you had to have children with this person. Or they may be coming, if they have children, they may be looking for somebody to take care of their children. I don't know what the case is, but children definitely play a part. I do feel like this will not happen, though. I feel like you will... Um, you know, you think it's lies, you know, you know, you, you can see right through it. Okay, there's some sort of um, ending here that has probably happened in the past that, you know, has your guard up in regards to this choice. You may not even want to consider the opportunity. Yeah, it's like, no, you're, you're not mature enough yet. I think that, I believe that you are just not focusing in the right direction this isn't you this is the person you're dealing with i think think that the person that you're dealing with is is immature they haven't changed they haven't learned anything and they are just uh saying whatever they can to get you back because you're secure and stable at this time okay i feel like um 
you are dealing with somebody that is complacent and lazy and they want you to take care of them okay and I feel like you can see right through this confusion okay I do I feel like you are seeing the reality of this I do I feel like you are being presented with a difficult choice because at one time you had feelings for this person even though it may not have been love I mean it may have been love at one time but I feel like, you know, you are probably going to do the right thing for yourself while this person is coming in looking for somebody to take care of them. I feel like they, that you can see right through their, their, their illusion, okay? They're, they're full of illusions and I think that you can see right through it. Um, yeah, somebody is coming in aggressively they are probably saying anything and everything to get you to choose them. But I think that you, you know, I think that you're going to reject it. I do. I think that you can see right through it. Um, I think that you are very, very focused on your future, your stability, and your abundance. And you can see the reality and I just I know I'm repeating myself but you know that this will lead to nothing it would just lead to dissatisfaction it's unrealistic you're dealing with somebody who is unrealistic they're saying everything and anything while not meaning a word of it so beware Sagittarius you have gone through a spiritual awakening where you are vibrating so highly and it is Mercury retrograde. And that's what Mercury retrograde does. It brings people back to test your growth. Okay? So I feel like this is exactly what is happening this week. I think that there you are dealing with somebody. Could be an air sign. Could be any sign. But I see air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius pretty prominently that probably wants to come back in and regain control of what was lost, okay? So, Sagittarius, I feel like this is a week of really accepting the reality, seeing the reality, making a very difficult choice, taking all the time you need to make the decision, and I think that as you think about it and you contemplate, you will probably reject this offer because it's unrealistic. You ready? Surrender. I can release my need to control. So this is your message for the week. And when I, when I look at this surrender card, it, it says to me, surrender to the universe. Surrender to your inner guide. Let your inner guide give you the answers. If something doesn't feel right, then it's not right. Okay? So I feel like you guys know what the answer is. You know what choice you need to make. Don't let somebody manipulate you. Because with the King of Swords Reverse, this is a manipulator. You're dealing with a manipulator. Manipulate you in any way through their words, through emotional blackmail, through the children. You may be dealing with somebody who tries to manipulate you into seeing things their way. They haven't changed at all. Let your inner guide give you the answers. And that's what I have. Talk to you later.